Hey guys, it's your boy Tia Tendi here with a new video. Today we are going to talk about a perfect example of character development and good side characters in anime. Odd, and kind of specific I know, but trust me on this one. Usually in anime, the main protagonist is often given the most focus. And let's face it, it happens in almost all media. In my opinion side characters are people who hasn't gotten their own series yet. And if you think what I said seems familiar to some other famous quote, well it's a huge coincidence. The anime I picked for today is Natsume's Book of Friends. There are a lot of episodes in this anime and is split into several seasons. Therefore I chose to pick one episode in particular to talk to you about. Now I have to tell you about the anime and what it's about. For as long as he can remember Takashi Natsume has had the ability to see spirits inheriting the power from his grandmother Reiko Natsume. This ability resulted in his having a lonely childhood because children his age considered him a bit odd. He had also been passed from one relative to another. Upon her death Reiko bequeathed to her grandson her book of friends, a book containing the names of spirits she had bullied into servitude. The Book of Friends is considered a highly prized item in the spirit world and spirits, both good and malicious, haunt Takashi constantly because of it. Whereas Reiko formed the contracts however, Takashi spends his time dissolving the contracts and releasing the various spirits that come to him, for help. Malicious spirits on the other hand try to kill him to obtain possession of the book. Which is where Madara, called Nanko-sensei by Natsume, comes in. Madara serves as Natsume's bodyguard and spiritual advisor of sorts, even though ostensibly he is motivated by his own desire to possess the Book of Friends. He later begins to become more attached to Takashi. That's basically the Cliff Notes version of it. Or what I can swipe from the wiki. So yeah, it's another slice of life anime that focuses on Japanese mythology like Mushishi but with a lot of changes. For one the plot is made incredibly family friendly, that is there are almost no sad endings, but in a way it can be overlooked since it can be considered as Natsume's journey of recovery. Natsume has a sad backstory, he was treated as an outsider because he was different, and in that way, it is similar to Naruto, as in both had a terrible childhood, but Natsume is way better at being relatable in my opinion. Let's now talk about Natsume's current parents and the episode that I currently want to talk to you about. The episode is called Toko and Shigeru. The episode itself can be considered as filler. Funny since some people actually consider Slice of Life as filler. Instead of focusing on Natsume and his adventures we take a look through the eyes of Toko Fujiwara, the wife of Shigeru Fujiwara and the adopted M, other of Natsume. In most other anime a filler episode would be full of random happenings which would have no impact on the main story and most importantly on the viewer. Take Naruto for example, the show is notorious for its filler so I basically skipped all of them. Sure there is a chance of one of those episodes being good, but that wasn't worth the time I had to spend watching filler. But in filler like this, even the episodes where the main character is rarely present, the story still is amazing. That's good writing for you. I like Toko because of her devotion towards her family. The episode actually reminded me that my mother was actually an interesting person with other feelings and roles. Let me explain. When I think about my mom, well I think about how she takes care of me and loves me. I fail to realize that she is like that only to me. That to everyone else, she is an individual, with thoughts and feelings just like me. However when I was growing up, I failed to realize this since I was too self-absorbed. Instead of watching Natsume and relating to him, I actually felt what my mother felt or at least what she feels when she is by herself. One of the best scenes is when she thinks about Shigeru before she goes to sleep. She misses him, even though she has had all this fun. She thinks about him and the fact that they are getting old. That the time together is coming to an end. She wonders if one of them disappeared the other would survive. That scene shows how much love she has for Shigeru. Personally I have not seen many anime where relationships focusing on married couples are shown. And the ones that are shown are mostly newlyweds and young couples. So that's not really exploring new boundaries. It's teen romance but with a married couple. That one moment of vulnerability from Toko is what made this episode my absolute favorite. 
at least from this anime, at least so far, instead of making it a dumb beach episode of them goofing off which results in nothing happening apart from playing a bunch of overused tropes they actually made the filler enjoyable. And heck you can actually argue that the filler is better than most of the main episodes. Which is my personal opinion by the way. I don't mind if you don't think so, it's cool. Her vulnerability made her believable. Sure there are sweet characters and there are sweet mothers. But to see a mother be optimistic all the time can break the immersion to me. Everyone. Even the people who smile all the gosh darn time have some sort of sadness in them. That sadness is what makes them human. When we see someone sad, one instinctively feels the need to help them. Well most of the people nowadays anyways. They underwent the same sadness themselves and as a result would wish to help the fellow person. Heck. At least that's what I feel when I see someone in need. Back to what I was saying. The show is good. The characters the premise and the music all together make the anime memorable and a really pleasant experience. It is quite interesting to note that Natsume's introvertish personality was modeled after the writer's own inability to express themselves about the feelings to others. As an introvert myself I understand the plight. The closest anime that I can compare this to is Mushishi, but the similarities are few and far between. Both deal with mythical subjects yes, but both focus on different aspects as a whole. Mushishi focuses on telling the story of both the Mushi and the people who are afflicted. It tells the story of the main protagonist yes. However, the main focus of the story is on the people he meet. We only know what the main character knows. But in the case of Natsume's book of friends, it deals with Natsume. Yes we do meet different kinds of yokai and we do meet them in later episodes. But, the main focus is always on Natsume. Hence the name of the anime Natsume's Book of Friends. The different yokai he meets on his journey are symbolic of things he faces or has faced in his life. Or in certain cases the yokai are symbolic to the other characters. Like in this episode, the crows representing the Fujiwara's relationship. It is a beautiful allegory which is a result of really good storytelling. I'm sorry if I seem repetitive but you have to understand this anime is well deserved of this praise. Also the fact that in Mushishi, the Mushi are treated as some sort of microorganism with almost all of them having no sentience, at least the low level ones don't have sentience. In the book of friends the yokai have human qualities and they compare humanity as a fleeting moment in a sense. Some of the yokai have lived for centuries. To them human life is not that valuable and they cannot see them or interact with them. Which a lot of yokai find sad and a lot to be infuriating. The yokai are symbolic of different personality traits or situations themselves. Overall this anime is really good and is well worth a watch. As in you have to watch this. Like as soon as possible. I mean this anime has what? I think. Six seasons or something. For like ten years. So you have a lot of episodes to cover. And you'll love every bit of it. If you like slice of life and enjoy character driven anime with a good atmosphere and well defined characters then Natsume's Book of Friends is a perfect fit for you. Ah, いつか散ると分かっていても<笑> 